do whatever I ask him to right now. He seems pretty engaged. So I want to pause you for a sec because you asked the right question. Should yeah. I target him first to see if he'll do it? Yes. yes. Okay. We call that warming up the bird. We want to make sure that we're going yeah. to get a good response. So with the permission-based <laughs> training, hey, will you train? If they touch the stick, yes, you know he's going to train. And oh. then you know you can... Oh, I need my clicker. Then you know okay. you can work for <laughs> <laughs> Give me my I was clicker like, back. This is something. <laughs> Pocketed it and everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, honey. Ready? All right. Oh, he wanted to do a wave there. That there you go. Good. So that's a clear sign that, yeah, he wants I'll to do train. A wave. Can I see yeah. what you gave? What did you give? Cheese. Girl, Did you said you, you yeah, you said you made them small. <laughs> so you. also, you mentioned earlier that cheese is his favorite. We can we can we can shake it up with some nuts. Now how are the nuts? I'm gonna I'm gonna beat you. That's that's all they are. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So cheese, if that's a favorite, we and he looks like really interested in doing it anyway. We don't need to use a jackpot incentive if he's already interested, right? So treat value, on a scale of one to 10, where does cheese fall? 10's uh, the best. Like pistachios and cheese, cheese is 10. Pistachios okay. are probably nine. Yeah. So if cheese is 10, let's use cheese to get him in the cage. Or let's use cheese when he does something get perfect. Him off of you. Yeah, so the walnuts are easier to break. The... I'll get you walnuts too, but. Yeah, they are really little. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, look at that. Look at them. There's some okay. cheating. What do you guys see in the body language there? Oh, like he's really like all flailed up. He's very, very excited. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna do? have you step back, and I'm like, gonna have Jamie like, do. I'm gonna have Jamie do the next session here. Laugh. He like, <laughs> <been fired>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's too much to correct. <laughs> Translation, I don't want to get bit. It's got to be a racial thing. <laughs> I'm just saying, it might freak them out. I have treats for you. Oh, you do? Okay. Super high. Uh, what? What? So you notice how far she put it so the bird can't be aggressive to touch the stick? She put it just, just barely in reach. So you, okay, you see things, you just don't. Listen. <laughs> okay? Because you literally verbalized it. You're like, no, don't step up, but but come on, even. But you saw he didn't want to, but you still kept your hand there. Like, yeah. that's when you need to be like, you you obviously said, okay, he doesn't want it. He only wants well, to I step up. Well, I feel bad if he doesn't Pull get his treat. <laughs> he doesn't want it. He didn't want it. Okay. All right. He's like, get it out of my face. All right. I'm like, but take it so I feel better. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. So he That's had to exactly bite you right. to get you to retreat, right? Yeah. Wow. Right, 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 yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah, you say everything. So even when you were training him and he's he's way too heightened to yeah. work with right he's, now. He's way wired up right now.
So what does that mean we should do? I feel like we need our, our tea stand. Can I go grab it? Can you go grab it, please? Because he's got too much going on and toys and everything. Okay. Yeah. Look at how much she's already shredded. <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I'll add that to your bill. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? He's going to town on that thing, for sure. Yeah. Well, the highs like are he's like just, a whole lot. Yeah. <laughs> and see, it's all of this, right? It's because he, he, was, he was definitely heightened when, when we were just sitting around. But now that he's It was sort kind of, of like an attention. excited, playful thing. Yeah. But when you started to train and like you did this whole thing and it <laughs> pissed him off and then you clicked, you're like, yeah, that's what I want. I was like... <laughs> <laughs> so, so one sec, Jen. What? You just had some lessons there. What did you learn? That I'm really bad with that. Okay. I also saw you pick up a bunch of these, and then it was like, no, nah, just one, yeah, right? No, I just grabbed one, so I'm only going to have one at a time. Okay. Um. Okay, so what can you do differently? I can switch, but then I have a hard time clicking. You don't need to click necessarily. To click I don't know, I thought I had it supposed to click. Huge difference. You know what? Let me just one. Okay. No, because the reward was you. Yeah. Do you understand that? Going into that? I, I do, but I don't know. I mean, I'm the transport here. What, what am what, I supposed to do? What about treat that? you have? A walnut. I guess I could use cheese. I don't know if cheese. cheese would be high enough or not at this point because he's feeling pretty good. He's been a while. Oh, oh look. Good boy. Oh, yeah, cheese works. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> I got that right, right? I know. This is right. <laughs> cool. So, go yeah. <laughs> so, have a seat. Have a seat. <laughs> so, lesson there, guys. Treat value. On a scale of one to 10, cheese is a 10. Unfortunately, Jen's a nine. <laughs> but the walnuts were less than nine. So if you want the bird to do what you need to do, make sure your treat value is higher than you or whatever, you know, make sure you adjust it according to what you really need. So from here on out, he never gets cheese. The only time he gets cheese is when he goes down off of you nicely. Make sense? down but does not go down nicely walnut well it's it's what do you mean by not nicely like bites you on the way down uh i'm trying to think yeah like you just get very sort of nippy like we'll lunge after he's down there or it's yeah, a, it just sort of it's about aggressive. setting it up for success first so don't pick him up if he's not at the right food motivation level because you won't be able to get him down because if if he's not hungry enough to take cheese, then you are the higher value reward. Does that make sense? Yeah, so this happens usually. So I get home, mm -hmm. take him out of his cage. He hasn't seen me all day. I take him downstairs, put him on his play stand because then it just might be like, I don't want to go to my play stand. He might go down, so he, he might see the cheese and might be interested in getting off of me, but he'll lunge because he's there. We need to see this stuff. Yeah, and I think what we need to do is train him that going to the stand doesn't mean he's going to be away from you for the rest of the night. Yeah. Is it consistent, like, go to the stand, don't get to hang out with you? No, no, it isn't. And I've, I've tried to start now, make sure that it's not. So yeah. I, if I get him down, then I'll, 15 minutes or a half, I usually have things I got to go, but I go mm -hmm. do when I get home from work, but I want to make sure he gets out of his cage, so, and, and the other birds too. Mm -hmm. um, 
So I usually have to take care of some things, mm -hmm. and then I'll come back maybe 20 minutes later, and then we'll hang out about it, and then I'll try and put him back on his play stand and no go. So, so it kind of means 20 minutes. Yeah, so if you even. break this down, what it means is, hey, I'm so excited to see you. You put me down on the perch. Going on the perch means I don't see you for 20 minutes, and I haven't seen you all day. So to break that, what we'll do is we'll give you an exercise where you'll come home, you'll pick him up, you'll put him on the stand, give him a piece of cheese for going down, pick him right back up five seconds later. Put him down for 10 seconds, pick him right that, back that up. That won't happen. That's the problem. I can't get him down the second time. Because you've established that it's 20 minutes. But if you can do this and establish it doesn't mean 20 minutes, he'll be more likely to go down because now it means five seconds. And then it I can means, eventually, it can eventually be 20 mm -hmm. minutes again. Yes. Okay. You have to reestablish that it doesn't mean 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you'll find a sweet spot for what it is. Because he might, you might find that through 12 repetitions, a step up, step down for cheese, you might be totally content. He might not, but we'll, it'll get us closer to figuring that out. Okay. Do you give him any treats right when you get him out? No, because it's usually me. Yes, I'm good. I'm reward, so I'm not trying to treat him to come to me. Yeah. Right, that's because, what I was going to say. Like, yeah. you get to the... Yeah, yeah exactly. good thinking. He's more calm now. Do you think he's more calm to train? Okay, so I've never worked with this bird. I don't know this bird. So the first thing I'm going to do is say, hey, do you want to train? To do so, we'll do this. See, I'm going in close, slow, slow. There it is. There's a treat for you. Do you want it? Mm. Do you see it? <laughs> see it? That's what I'm thinking. I'm trying cheese next because the cheese is going to be high value. Since he doesn't know me, like me, care about me, anything. Um, he is uncomfortable. He's just going to want to hang out with her. He's not going to want to train again Yeah. once he and gets her. I'm actually going to step between them because he's just looking at her. Should I leave? Nope. <laughs> okay. Some cheese. Yeah. I'm going to bend it. You can. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so. Did you drop the whole thing or just part of it? I thought you said no cockatoos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he threw it on the ground. <clears throat> <clears throat> I didn't want to work this hard today, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to come back to you. So, what would happen if right now I stop... And he goes back over here. Out of the quadrant. He gets what he wants, for yeah. sure. So he gets what he wants. So is that plus or minus? That's minus. That's it's plus. That's he's plus. gaining something, oh, he's right? Gaining something. Plus, yeah, we're yeah, plusing yeah. something. So he gets what he wants. Yeah. What does he want? What does he want? Oh, he wants me. He wants you. So yeah. is that punishment or reinforcement? Reinforcement. So he gets plus reinforcement if I stop and he goes back to you, mm -hmm. right? So keep that in mind, because if I said, okay, that's fine, you can go back and hang out, then I just rewarded him, I increased the likelihood for him ignoring a training session with me. noises that are very easy for me to anthropomorphize to. Yeah. Because he, he, it's like a little whimpering almost, right? Does he see the cheese? So, so here's a thought. Mm -hmm. What perch did you last put him on where he was successful? That one. Let's yeah, try I that. that too. Yeah. Oh, we're dropping cheese all over the place. Good boy. Perfect. So, go and step back a sec. You guys saw how we all troubleshot that? These are the little, the little gold nuggets that you can walk home with. So, what I'd like to see is a, a nice step up without him beaking you and then be on you for one or two seconds so that it's fulfilling for him. 
and then put them back down with the cheese back to the perch. Do you want me to try so you can see what happens if I try with the... Nope. No, just right the there. reason I don't is that I want him to... He's in a good mood right now. Let's keep him there. We'll, we can tackle touching his foot with your thumb another time. Okay. Okay. Come on, step so, step back. So, who caught... Who caught what I would say is a mistake right now? Anybody? Uh, for now, the, the arm, generally, yes, but that's not quite what I was looking for. see the trick. Okay. What did she say? She said, step up. Yeah? What should she have said? You want, you want to step up. You want to step up, right? Because look at your mindset. Do you want to step up? Gives him an option, right? What did he say? If if you had just said you want to step up, what reaction did you get? No. <laughs> so then what would your next step be? Okay, I should have backed off right then. Or establish, well, why not? Did he know you had a treat? Mm. Yeah, I didn't show him the treat because, again, I didn't, it was me. Yeah, because you're the treat. Yeah, but maybe not enough in that case. So he feels pretty secure there. Yeah. So maybe for the step up, you can offer his number two favorite treat. And for the step off, back to the perch, you could offer the cheese. So that's why it's important to ask, do you want to step up or will you? Because it gives you the, the ability to go through that thought process. Because even though we said don't use a treat for step up, because you're the treat, you weren't enough of a treat for that, for that exact scenario. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Can you show him a treat? Will that help? I did. I think he likes being on this perch. Let's step up. Will you step up? Yes. Good job. Boy. Get cheese ready for her. It's there. I think I would get him on this perch and okay. get him away from that one. And there's cheese on the perch there for him. Do you want me to leave it there? On the perch. If he, as long as he sees it, but yeah, whatever you need to do to get him there, willingly. All right. Step up. Will you step up there? Put the cheese a little closer. Not not too close, but uh. Will you step up? Maybe I'll go back to the perch and just. You want to work from that one? That's where it's working, yeah. Okay. So go ahead and go back to the wooden perch. Good boy. Okay, move the hand. Perfect. All right, go ahead and step back for a sec. Just let him uh, chill there for a minute. So because that perch is not as comforting and self-soothing, we should be able to get a step up for no treat and a step back down for cheese, since you are a treat. If that changes, feel free to use the secondary treat to get them up. Oh, you didn't need a treat there yet? So hang out with them for a second or two. And I'm gonna have you just step halfway between the two perches, but face the blue perch. The difference when you had them successfully gone is all of your intent and your energy was, was there. It wasn't like you were standing there and just waiting. You, it was very clear, your body signaled that that's what we want. So let's go ahead and with that same intent that you had, go ahead and put them on the blue perch. That was our two to five minute session. If you want, you can offer him the cheese because that was good. And he's there. If he doesn't want it, then back off and leave him there, leave him there, leave him there, leave. Okay, okay so we're gonna end by Put putting him back. back on the perch again.
back on the perch. Good. And then go ahead and sit. I was see how much better that was. The momentum helps. It does. It's just like you heard me say yesterday about the energy and the intent. This is a great example of that. So that was that's your two to five minute session, and and reiterates stepping up, guys, is a trick, and stepping down in this case is a trick as well. Yeah. Does the <clears throat> does the different value of treat make sense to you now? Yeah. Like you can see how important that is, and how everybody has a treat value assigned for themselves, uh, and that value changes based on the environment. The scenario, your intention, your energy, your mood, what the bird had for breakfast, when it last ate a snack, all of that changes and all of that plays into whether or not you're going to have a good interaction. And if every interaction is a training session, again, setting yourself up for success by pre-planning what your interaction is going to look like is, is going to set you up for success.